But then you look at it, it hit, I think, 69,000 this year is the high Bitcoin hit. Do you think it's possible, you mentioned gold, do you think it's possible it reaches very high numbers, like 1 million that some people talk about? I don't, I don't think that's possible because the way I look at it is there's a certain amount of, um, certain amount of it. And there's a certain amount of gold. I'll use gold as a benchmark. The amount of it is worth about five, uh, uh, about one trillion dollars. Total crypto is about two point two trillion. But let's say Bitcoin, uh, it's one trillion dollars. If you take the amount of money that is in um, gold that is not used for jewelry purposes and not used by central banks, and I assume. Bitcoin won't be used for jewelry purposes or central bank purposes. Um, that amount in gold is about $5 trillion. So right now, if you were to ha have a portfolio that has um, gold and crypto, um, gold and Bitcoin, it's worth about 20% of the value of gold. Do I think it's going to be uh, worth more than gold uh, in terms of that mix? I don't think it'll be worth more than gold, but let's say it became worth as as much as gold. I don't believe it will be. I think the twenty percent sounds kind of about right. I really don't know that what the right answer is. Um, and then there's the question of what is all of that pool of money that let's say gold and gold equivalents relative to everything else? Does it go from you know let's call it six, seven, eight trillion to 16 trillion, maybe it could double. It depends what it is in the world environment. But basically, if you use gold as a measure, I um, there's no, it just makes no sense that it's going to be used um, th that much more. Am I sure about that? I'm not sure about anything. But logically, it seems to me um, that there's a limitation on its price in relationship to other things that are like it. 